Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have created a report, it will appear in the navigation pane. Here you can select it and then press Ctrl plus the Enter key on your keyboard to open the report in Design View. Now in Design View, you can edit the report to change the field placement, add or remove fields, or format the report controls. In Design View, you can change many of the same aspects of reports that you changed in your forms when using Form Design View. You can also create a report from scratch in Design View in much the same way that you created forms. To do this, click the Report Design button that appears in the Reports group on the Create tab in the ribbon. This will create a new blank report and display it in the Design View. Now one of the very first things that you will notice about Report Design View that is different than the Form Design View is the number of bands or sections that appear within the Report Design View. By default, the Report Design View shows a Page Header section, a Details section, and a Page Footer section. What is important to note about reports is that in a report, the particular section that you place your fields into can impact what data displays in the field. Just as with Form Design View, you can start by clicking and dragging fields from the field list at the right side of the Design View and then dropping them into the desired section of the Report Design window. However, since reports often use queries as their basis versus using a table, you may want to know how you can select a query to use as the report's data source since queries are not shown by default within the field list. Now in this case, which happens frequently when you're designing reports, you need to set the data source property for the report. To do this, click the Property Sheet button in the Tools group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then use the drop-down that appears at the top of the Property Sheet window to select Report if needed. Then click the Data tab. Use the drop-down for the Record Source Property field to select the name of the query to use as the data source for the report. Note that you can also choose Tables here, and that this is also the same process that you would use to choose a data source or a record source for your forms if desired. Now once you've chosen a record source for your report, then simply click the Add Existing Fields button in the Tools group to show the available fields for the selected query within the Field List pane. Now fields that are placed into the Details section display their field information once for each record in the associated data source. Items that are placed into the Page Header or the Page Footer sections repeat once per page so that makes those areas suitable for items such as a page number or a date timestamp, but not for calculations. Now you can add two more useful sections to the report, the report header and the report footer. You can enable both of these sections by clicking the report header footer button that appears either in Access 2010 by cl right clicking on any of the headers displayed in the report design view and then choosing the Report Header Footer button to enable their display in the pop-up menu that appears. Or in Access 2007, you can enable these sections by clicking the Report Header Footer button that appears in the Show Hide group on the Arrange tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. Also note that you can right-click on one of the sections shown and then choose Report Header Footer to hide their display if you don't want them. You can also do that with the page header footer as well. Now, fields that are placed into the report header or the report footer sections will display their field information once at the very top 
and once at the end of a report. Oftentimes, you will find this is where report titles will be placed in the report header section. The report footer section is often where you will place fields that calculate the grand total of other fields within the details section. You can also create many additional header footer combinations for various groupings of fields within your report, which you'll examine in a later lesson. Now, in addition to the field list, you may also have many of the same controls that you use in forms available for use in your report design view as well. They are shown in the controls group on the design tab of the report design tools contextual tab within the ribbon. So you can use the buttons in this group to add labels, images, or custom calculated fields. Now once you've designed the report, you can view the report results in print preview to see how the report would look if you actually printed it. This can allow you to make any final changes before you print it to ensure that it will print correctly and tabulate the data correctly. Now when you're viewing a report in print preview, you can view multiple or single pages of the report and also print the report using the buttons that are available to you on the print preview tab. Now when you're finished previewing your report, you can just simply click the Close Print Preview button to close the preview and return to the report design view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.